Hello everybody, welcome back to a redirect uh, reaction for you guys. I am sorry again for not re uh, uploading uh, the full reaction to YouTube, but as I said time and time again, uh, YouTube's copyright system is off the rails and it will raid anyone who is producing reaction videos on YouTube. Uh, I don't know how the other guys do it, uh, maybe they're doing Patreon fully, but I don't have the followers yet. So uh, this is just a uh, reaction which can go either um, a break, uh, breakdown, uh, everything in between or just a recap and in general. So uh, this time around I'm doing season 5 episode 22 of, um, uh, sorry, episode 23 and 24 of Steven Universe, continuing on with my Steven Universe binge watch or the Steven Bomb binge watch, uh, either one. Um, and so the two episodes I want to talk about is the the one that we've watched, which is episode 23. First of all, uh, the first part was really, really, really just uh, a setup for uh, shit to go down. And I kind of knew that's where they wanted to go, but I, I just thought like maybe they wouldn't bring it in so fast. Maybe like it would wait like till the sixth season and then the first episode was going to be that. But I think this is a cool way to end season 5 as well i'm not uh, i'm not really sure like how they're going to i mean how they're going to even finish it off because i think they're maybe going to put in two more episodes and then that's it but yeah so uh the first uh well, the first part is mainly about uh garnet's uh wedding which is ruby and sephira's wedding and i definitely think that is one of those things that you can uh maximize your use on the uh, musical numbers and shit like that and they, they definitely did it here and i i really enjoyed them um and it's nice to see them like understanding like what this kind of means or like it's a change of pace for them and i i do really really enjoy that like for especially for couples who are in a long-term relationship as well like i always kind of support that like i always kind of say yeah go ahead like go find new things to be like or to understand each other more or like to fall in love with each other more or like to find out if like they're compatible together forever or not uh so that you know it, it, it will definitely develop a better relationship and if you want me to ramble on more about that you can look at the post uh the past one that i did on the episodes uh prior so uh, the second part was uh, solely about the uh, yellow diamond and blue diamond coming to earth and, and starting the clusterfuck but the clusterfuck in itself is um is sentient and i remember that but uh it's sentient in the sense that it didn't it didn't it did not lose its memories in that you know it, it understood steven you know it understood steven's point of view and it understood why like uh, steven is willing to put his life on the line to protect earth but at the same time you know you do have that kind of inkling when well you know maybe blue diamond and yellow diamond will switch it back to to evil or something like that or or a being that will destroy the earth however it didn't and you know it did uh, fight on um Steven's side and it was very interesting to see uh, done uh, in like it, it was kind of like watching like Gundam uh, robots fight each other which is definitely interesting for me uh, and then you know the whole blue diamond thing where you know she made everyone feel her pain and misery and all that and I, one of those one of the things that I always talk about like um, um, Blue Diamond is that she could definitely be, you know, challenged by Lapis, Lapis, Lapis Lazuli and definitely in this episode uh, she came back and I do really really enjoy uh, her coming back and just, you know, like putting a fry and like, like definitely being a match for, for uh, Blue Diamond so that was definitely uh, something to watch um, and you know I do, I do enjoy a lot of the um, subtext of like you know was it really worth it to, to come in and, and, and to do these type of deals in in these type of worlds and all that like to start a, a cluster and like you know to destroy the world but like 
you know it's also one of those things where you know it is one of those like diamond like, or like alien forces that want to rule the whole galaxy so there's definitely that as well uh, but I do de I do definitely think that um, Steven is uh, a character who uh, fully now understands what he is and what he has to be to to create a balance between both sides but at the same time does that mean that he is uh, he is less of a child because you, we saw in the first part of uh, the reunion where you know he shaved a little bit of the stubble and it was kind of played for laughs but also you know he is stuck in that form you know we already know that but he can definitely age himself up so you know where does the line go and like how does he then want to proceed with this type of, of, of deal so it's one of those things that I hope they dive more into and I definitely think they will dive into but of course the first uh, the first deal we have to get through is uh, the yellow and blue diamond trying to understand how Steven is Rose and per uh, and um, and pink diamond at the same time so um, it is one of those things where you do, like want to know what's gonna happen and also you know that it's gonna turn out for the better so it's a, it's definitely a mixed bag but um, the alternative is always you know not as good as what they're, what they're doing right now but I do definitely think that they flushed out a lot of their their story style and it's it's more it's more an arcing one right now that I'm seeing and that's one of those things where I always I always look back at Adventure Time as well because she she was a writer for Adventure Time so it's always the the later parts of the season where there always seems to be much more of like an understanding okay like now we've done all that you know silliness or goofiness uh, we can get into the nitty-gritty of things and that's not necessarily a bad thing when the the silly goofy stuff is actually kind of setting things up and this uh steven universe is much better at setting things up than adventure times most of the time but i also feel that it's still sometimes draggy in the first half of the season so there's always that kind of feeling like okay when when are we gonna get to good stuff because as a, as a millennial myself like and, and as a, as a as a person who like fidgets a lot like i i do kind of want things to go faster and like you know let's let's go let's go you know let's let's do this real quick and then you know we can we can be done with it so that's just my deal though that's just my 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 understanding of things but again um you know i do i do understand where they're coming with this right now so i i hope there's gonna be six a uh, sixth season but you know i i'm not sure cartoon network is just digging rebecca around as well and there isn't much backlash against that as cora did get but um because cora you know technically got more fuck than steven universe and you know this one is just kind of just on and off and on and off and on and off so kind of like fairly odd parents if you want to really think about it or maybe even like spongebob at one point um so yeah there, there is a lot of cartoons that go through this as well but this one in particular a lot as well like i'm seeing it across the board as well like a lot of recent cartoons are having more and more issues right now and i think it's because of the internet and all that but i i hope they do continue and if they do i am gonna still watch it um so yeah nothing much else to, to say but um yeah, that was a pretty badass fight scene like then the whole thing within like the whole like third plane thing that was an interesting take on the third plane i i thought it was a really cool thing to do um and yeah i i really i really really enjoyed it so i hope you guys did too and please go ahead and click the link in, in the description below uh, and if you like this video please leave a like uh, share subscribe all that good stuff ring the bell for more notifications i will definitely be back um and doing youtube again 
uh, I, I'm just looking for content, looking for my niche still. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I still love talking about movies. I still love talking about TV shows. I know I haven't I haven't done like trailer reactions anymore, but I, I just find trailer now trailers nowadays to just be really really boring. And I, I don't really have anything to say about them except you know if it's something I really want to watch or <clears throat> something I have heard about in the works I, I did watch the happy time murder uh, trailers on my own and I, I saw a lot of people do doing reactions on it so I didn't do a reaction on it um, the way I choose to do reactions is purely on my instinct if I feel like okay I really I really can talk about this or I can't really want to talk about this then I'll do it but uh, if I don't feel like it or if I don't feel like I don't have a I don't have much energy to do it and then I won't do it so that's why you haven't seen Dickie in a long time you know uh, Dickie is uh, a character which you really have to have a lot of a lot of energy to do this is his jacket is still, uh, still here um, and he definitely needs content to work off of uh, not much cringy stuff to work off of nowadays um, maybe I could do uh, Record Ralph Breaks the Internet if it's not as good as the first one but we'll see it when we'll see it but yeah so anyway thanks for watching me ramble at the end there so uh, then uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video which would most likely be probably if, if um, thing well I'm still waiting for a lot of shows to come back as also just wait on down and I'll probably get a video out soon enough and then probably it's gonna be like either the the new shows coming out or, or the new newer shows that already have come out or just a random show that I choose so yeah see you guys when I see you guys I'm so sorry for for the time I've taken and uh, we'll see you guys in the future bye